I um having I'm having a hard time finding that sewer. It's it's pretty it's weird. a manhole. <laughs> Why the hell? Maybe you didn't talk to the corpse kid again. You gotta talk to him again before you go to the manhole. Oh, again? Yeah, you okay. gotta talk to him again before you go into the. God, I feel like I'm playing. What's that game called? Tomba. Feels like I'm playing Dark Souls. <laughs> no, no, not Dark Souls. No, Dark Souls was easier than this crap. Tomba. I think that game was called. Where you guys? Had to go talk to a bunch of people just to get on with the freaking quest. Yep, there we go. It's a tomb all, all over again. Uh, okay, now I gotta lift the tombstones. Yay. I gotta go find tombstone. It'll buy a lift. It'll buy a kit. Anyway, next time we might be playing uh, the Eminem PS1 game. Um, that's not an October game. Yes, it is. It's candy. Fine, whatever. <laughs> Candy. We gotta mix it up a bit, but uh, yeah, when we yeah. play that game, get a better PS1 emulator, okay? Don't use the one that you were using before, because it doesn't load certain things. Okay. Because remember, we really? played the Lilo and Stitch PS1 game, and you couldn't find anything because uh, those textures didn't load in. Yeah. Yeah, you don't play that uh, Eminem game on that PS1 emulator. Get a different one. Mm -hmm. hmm. Nice. So, what beer should I be getting tonight? Oh, Milwaukee's Best, Budweiser, Keystone, uh, Bush Light. Don't, please don't, don't say Keystone. Why? You don't like that one? Uh, there's something about it. I, I had it once. This tastes like a, tastes like a low grade beer. Why is it sticking? I can use a silver apple. Why is it sticking? Wait. Hmm. So I just save. Just, yeah, save. I save him, that's it. Save the game. What? You save oh, him. I'm saying, I, I save him. You save it? him, and then you leave the, the the tunnel, leave the manhole, and then you have oh. to go kill the skeletons, and then talk to him again. Oh, I hate that so much. Yeah. What the? Dude, my PC is using a second Trojan condom. It has more sex than I have. Wait, you have so many Trojan horses on your computer? Why? What have you been downloading? No, my, 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 my PC is having sex like, I guess, two times in, in the morning. It's still, yeah, it's still in the morning for me. That is so weird, PC. Go, but go get him, man. <laughs> you go. <laughs> you go, PC. <laughs> Your PC is getting more action than you right now. Yeah, it is. All right. Defeat the skeletons and then go. Oh, what is that? Why are they? Oh, what the hell? Oh, that's what you mean. Protect them from the skeletons. Yeah, protect them against the skeletons, and then you gotta talk to the clown man again. Oh, okay. So, how do you like this game? 10 out of 10? 5 out of 10. It's decent. Yeah. It it's doesn't have a lot of combos, that's the only problem with this game. If it had more combos, I would like it better, but... I don't know. The combat in this game gets repetitive. Yeah. Y yeah, yeah, it freaking does. Yeah, yeah, I beat the second level. I didn't realize I was in the second level. I got, I got deed. Yeah, you deed. De -de -de. This is D town. Everybody, D. Everybody got a D. <clears throat> what is your favorite movie to watch during Halloween? During October. Dude, the Cable Guy with Jim Carrey. <laughs> Definitely. Why? Oh, oh man! Because because it's, it's uh, so scary. It it's it's scary and funny at the same time. I, I one of my favorite scenes is when um is in, in in that dream near the end of the movie where where he's he's knocking on uh, on the door. Yeah. And he and he he acts like he he, he gives up after knocking. Mm -hmm. the, the the guy in the apartment is is looking through his uh. His his glass window of, uh, of the door, and and Jim Carrey says, "Uh, all right, see ya, bye." <laughs> and he's just, yeah. he slowly walks away w w while crouching, but then he's he's kidding around. He slams right right at the door, and and and, and then when he breaks down the door, he says, "Uh, I just want to hang out." No big deal, or some crap like that. It's just running after the guy in the apartment. Yeah, and then they go to medieval times. Thin or yeah, in, in, in medieval times, that was like at the beginning of the movie. Yeah. yeah. 
<laughs> oh my god. That movie holds up, especially especially the message behind the movie. Because the message of the movie is that uh, TV can rot your, your brain and make you do crazy, stupid things. And Jim Carrey is kind of like an anti-hero because his whole idea is to destroy the, the cable once and for all. So then uh, nobody can watch TV and become like him. Yeah, it's because when the dopamine is heavy and high in the brain, it makes it hard to think and then you start getting into other things. It's like a drug. Yeah. I know all about that. Uh, this game's hard. <laughs> uh, where's the next one of the uh, two? Okay, gotta go to the right, I guess. I gotta go to the old man grave, yay. Oh boy. Ooh, I, I had that curd burger from Culver's yesterday. Was it good? Yeah, it was. I I was thinking, uh, oh, it's called curd burger because there's going to be like this big form of cheese in there. So there's this big breaded patty in it. And yeah, it was just full of, of uh, cheddar cheese, basically. Oh, yeah. Oh, no, I want to die. Ah. Just kidding. Yeah. Let Still me alive. see. Right three. Okay, got it. Did you know there's such a thing as as diet Baja Blast? Yeah. That sounds really dumb, but I, I'm gonna have one later just to try it out. <laughs> well, I mean, a Baja Blast is just like a um, a uh, sugary drink that's added to uh, whatever soda you want. So it could be Mountain Dew, it could be Coca Cola, it could be anything. So what they're doing is just the Baja Blast mix meets whatever diet drink you choose. I don't understand that. Baja Blast is just like a flavor like that they add to whatever drink you choose. So you can choose Mountain Dew and then it'll be Mountain Dew Baja Blast because they add a flavor drink to it. So you right. can order like, you know, Diet Dr. Pepper, I mean, or Diet Dr. Pepsi and say, oh, I want a Diet Dr. I mean, <laughs> Diet Pepsi uh, Baja Blast or uh, Diet Coca-Cola Baja Blast. So. What you just did was, you know, you, you're gonna order a uh, Diet Coca-Cola Baja Blast. So it's Diet Cola mixed with the uh, Baja Blast mix. That's confusing as a time when someone told me that that eggs from fast food places is just a freaking liquid. And I, I did not understand that. What? It means that they, you know, they only crack the eggs and they have this giant, um... A uh, milk container that they keep the uh, eggs in as like a mix so they can just pull the egg uh, yolk and make your eggs at the, the fast food restaurants. So, is it full of sodium? No, it's not. It's just, it's all the cracked eggs already in a, uh, you know, a drink container and they just pour it out every time they have to use it instead of cracking eggs individually. Is it as safe as actual eggs from the store? Yes, it is. Oh. Well, the guy made it sound like it was this fucking full of sodium. I was like, what? What? No, he's just saying that yeah. the pre-cut, the pre-opened cracked eggs. That's it. Well, I mean, they probably put sodium in it to preserve it better, but that's about it. Okay. Because I, I used to have a uh, quite a bit of it at, at my job. Yeah. I don't know. What did you get? Like the uh, egg McMuffin or what not? No, I would literally just grab it as as is, as just like one ingredient, and have it for for, for breakfast. I wouldn't really have a sandwich with it, just as is. So just like a you know an, an egg paste, like an omelet paste with it. Yeah, yeah, like that. Why? No, nothing in it. N no mushrooms. No nothing. No cheese. Yeah. What's wrong with you? I thought that that's all you needed. I mean, you could. It, it's edible, but why? It's very plain. It's like eating bread with no nothing on it. Why would you do that? Oh, I would never do that. I usually have some kind of spread on, on my bread. I don't know. Huh. Well, yeah, I, I basically did it one time. I had like a big egg omelet. And it's just, oof, I don't feel so good. Maybe it was just too much egg. Maybe you undercooked it. Maybe. So so then after that, I got to thinking, oh, I'm probably just a freaking idiot, and they put a bunch of sodium in it. 
even though I I don't know how they even make it in the mornings. Mm. I'm, I'm well, morning if you if you're so uh, scared about sodium, then don't eat a Taco Bell because Taco Bell is full of sodium. Yeah, that's like the worst restaurant to go to if you if you want low sodium food. Oh, okay. But anyways, did you hear that Taco Bell is gonna get the enchiladas back for uh, November? Nice. I recently also uh, had their nacho fries with their new. They're very good. Uh, with their new truff sauce. Yeah. It, it tastes like the least spicy sriracha I've ever had. That's basically what it, what it tastes like. That's very good. Yep. But yeah, if you want to try that uh, new enchilada, uh, you gotta try it in November around um, November 15th to uh, November 26th, I think. Because after that, it, it's gone. Mm -hmm. They also nice. brought back the uh, Taco Bell pizza. That's oh, the Mexican a, pizza? Yeah, the Mexican pizza thing. Yeah, I, I had that that one last week. It's okay. Yeah. I'm not having that again. It's like, whatever. I had it once. Yeah, it's There's okay. nothing special to it. Yeah, it's okay.